Hey up everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm targeting rats again. It is winter time in UK. And it's time to get back on our fairy friends. I'm always looking for activity in farmyard or a fresh supply of food. I did notice some a, a weekend ago. You have to admire these critters, very versatile, survivors. They survive almost anything. And they're abundant in the UK and many other countries in the world as well. Now we're taking rats. I take headshots only. And there's a couple of illustrations here that shows you the point you want to be aiming for, whether it's side on or front on. That short lit brain, travel through body, and it vital organs. So here we are, up at farm. Bit of an unexpected visit actually, but I did notice a big pile of chips in farmyard last weekend. On previous sessions, it's been a massive magnet for rats. So we'll wait and see what happens. Not if you can tell, but we've got about a 15 mile an hour wind. But I'm shooting at what, 20, 25 yards max. So it's not really going to affect pellet. It is raining. Uh, it's not too bad. It's not too heavy. It's quite light rain, but with gusts and gales that are blowing a little bit, it makes it feel a bit heavier. What I've decided to do tonight, I'm sitting in the car. I'm going to keep myself and rifle as dry as I can. Hopefully, like I say, these chips are a magnet. I should be able to crack on and uh, nail a few rats. So let's get into action. I noticed this rat on silage. When you're shooting rats, you have to be patient. I'm tracking it, and it sort of disappears from sight. Then it pops back out a minute or two later. I've got my crosshairs hovering. I'm waiting for that perfect opportunity. Shooting rats is a lot like shooting squirrels. They're both part of rodent family. They're very fidgety, so you need to wait and get your timing right. There you go. It sat up, presented a side-on shot. And it were an instant lights out for that rat. I mentioned you have to be patient. When you're rat shooting, you'll see a lot of that. You'll see a quick glimpse of a rat, then it'll disappear. Best thing to do is anticipate where it's going to go. Keep scanning. That's another perfect side on shot. I've tried something a little bit different in this video. This is MV100 from One Leaf. So rather than picking rifle up, swinging it about, which obviously through session ties your arms and your shoulders and your neck out. So I was using a handheld device and I was scanning. And it did pay off on probably, I don't know, eight or nine times. I spotted a rat. Put MV100 down, powered ATM 4K up, and it got me on quite a few rats. Sorry, footage is a little bit jumpy, but it is handheld. Here's another one. I think it was having a drink out of a mucky puddle. And rather, it died of infection, it died of lead poisoning. Here's another example of scanning, finding your target, then they're getting presented with an opportunity. I've been tracking this one for a minute or two. 
Let's feed on edge at silage. That's another nice clean head shot. This jumping about's normal. I've mentioned it a few times, it's inhibition. It's just body shutting down, nerves firing off. It comes to rest. What I do like to use is one of these shooting bag rests. It fits nicely down each side of it. Car. It's a nice steady platform. Keep rifle on, stops it slipping and moving about. Here's one at close range. I know it's movement. Apologies for it being slightly out of focus, but you ain't got time. I keep it focused for general ranges between 15 and 30 yards. This is about 10 yards. A pellet passed straight through between eye and ear. Smashing cranium. Probably exiting through brain. I noticed this rat. This is about 50 yards away. It must be coming up to breeding time. I usually find that in December. I'm chasing each other around. I use zoom function. And you can hear crack of that pellet at home. I'm well chuffed with that. 50 yards in quite gusty conditions. I'm confident with my setup. I'm confident with my skill set. They were a nice dispatch. So I'll be using Trusty Beast tonight. Air Arms Ultimate Sporter, 0.177 cal, sub 12 foot pounds. Got a QTEC silencer on it. Being right works tuned, so it shoots sweet. Regular viewers will know that. Got ATM 4K Pro on top, 3B14. An IR torch I'll be using tonight is Brian Hite. Artemis T28. I can switch between 850 and 940. I'll just show you that. If I need to, I use a stick to 850. It's my preferred choice. So I'm nice and dry. It's not too cold. Let's see what this session brings. There's another one at close range. Another 10 yarder. about three quarters grown that one I'm not convinced this were a rat I saw two pairs of eyes that sound did sound like a rat's skull see how fidget they are screwing around from place to place you can't take shots at moving targets, it's not ethical, and you're not going to achieve clean kills. So I'm just waiting for it. Or well, thinking about it then, but I knew it was still too fidgety. I'm readjusting myself, get my rifle steady again. I'm waiting for my opportunity. That's another nice clean dispatch. Proving to be a successful foray so far. I weren't sure with weather. I didn't have to retreat to cover. These young ones like to jump around a little bit. This corner, I think there must have been a nest close by. So I had uh, two or three youngsters. They're very similar to young rabbits. They must be pumped up on adrenaline and testosterone. When you shoot them, they like to jump. This sits like that. It's going to get shot. Another case of being patient. I've seen this rat and I'm tracking it.
just like squirrels, you need to wait, let them feed. Once they feed, they're preoccupied, and it gives you the opportunity that you need. This one come bounding down after seeing its or listening to its mate being shot. A curiosity got better at it. That was another nice clean kill. This little corner at farmyard was quite productive. The stretch it ranges at 30 yards. You just see a flicker of an eye there. Behind a mound of earth. I'm just waiting for it to pop its head out. Another one comes into view. Looks like the board disappeared. But first right I'm looking at shot off to the left. You just see its eye now, top left hand corner of the screen. Do notice it, I readjust, get comfy again. And send another one rolling down the hillside. Same banking, different rat, same result. That one fell forward. And here it is just rolling down to the bottom of the banking. This one's feeding on chips, trying to get fat for winter. Got more than it bargained for. It's another 50 yarder. Put his head down, lovely. I'm just going to make adjustment for range. Right did business for me. Made calculation. It worked out perfect. Look for his head dipping. There we go. Kelly landed perfectly. It's the same area, a little bit later. Another 50 yarder. He had crack at school when that pellet hit it on. Here's his slow motion. Watch for the pellet flying in. Lovely shot. When you see this like button shoot up, that's the position them two rats were in. Here's another. I forgot to recock rifle, so I lost my opportunity with this one and it scurried off. Thinking about it again, and again it's a way. I've seen some more movement, that's just coming to view. Did think we were going to go up banking, but decided to come to watch chips. Again, I'm waiting for it, trying to be patient. And it just gets behind a pile of chips and I can't see it. Keep waiting, a minute or two later, it shows itself. And that was good enough for me. Shooting, most of the time, can be about patience. Don't rush your shots, wait for your opportunity. Make sure you're ready. Make sure your feet are planted. Make sure you're comfy. Just relax. Make sure you're breathing right. And take your time. Compose yourself before you release your shots. You do love it when you roll down hill like that. Perfect shot. These rats I keep seeing or in this corner keep coming from my left hand side from edge row. They slowly but surely make their way over to a pile of chips. 
these are three quarter grown rats so again I think there's probably a nest close by see how fidgety he is but if you wait they'll give you that opportunity this shot you'll see it in real time and see it in slow motion shot were good unless the rat flinged at the last second like that or a neck shot there we go not a bad session some big rats there's quite a few I haven't been able to recover I'm not going to muck about tonight it's windy it's 